What's going on guys, if you haven't heard, we actually got our first look at NHL 22 on social media. If you don't have a Twitter or Instagram account, you might have missed this. It's only 18 seconds long in total, so we're just going to play it for you guys. Uh, not a whole lot here, but still, uh, some things I definitely want to talk about. So that's about it, as you can see. Uh, the definition of a tease, they don't really give us a lot there, but um, like I said, there's some things I just want to point out to you guys. The first thing, uh, we actually see the Xbox logo at the start of this, so I'm wondering if potentially NHL 22 will be coming out on Xbox Game Pass. That'd be kind of crazy. Anyone subscribed to that would get the game for free. More likely though, it probably just has to do with like being on the next-gen Xbox, the Xbox Series X, or maybe even there's some sort of bundle. I know there was a bundle for NHL 20 with the PS4. Probably not on Game Pass, but you never know. I think that'd be pretty awesome. You guys care? It's rated everyone 10 plus. I still think that's funny just because of the fighting, which almost never happens. Uh, I'm just gonna mute this here. So we start off with seeing the New York Rangers ice, of course, uh, center ice here at Madison Square Garden. It looks really good. At the bottom, you can see it says actual gameplay. Now, not all images appear in game, but it's good to know this wasn't some sort of super render on a PC. Like this was actually recorded in game. Uh, you can see the light there reflecting off the ice. It does look really good. Um, definitely, this is uh, not the same engine that was on the Xbox One, the PS4. We're getting a new engine for sure here on the Series X and the PS5. Um, as you guys can see, they just slowly there go across the logo before we see a skate come in. Black and red CCM skate. I feel like that could be Panarin. Now, even if it is Panarin or some other Ranger, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be the cover boy. I remember in the past there's been other teaser trailers where it showed a player and that player did not end up on the cover. I've seen a lot of people talking about, you know, potentially Panarin as the cover boy, but I think this doesn't prove it at all. I feel like it's probably just a random player they chose. If anything, it might be a throwback to the NHL 15 trailer where they actually had like a wide shot at Madison Square Garden. That was the first game on Next Gen back then. This is the first game on the new Next Gen. Uh, we see the logo there, EA Sports NHL 22. The first uh, official reveal is actually August 19th, so only two days from now. Very excited to see kind of what's in store there. It'll probably just be like a regular minute, and a half, two minute trailer, but definitely more than we got here. And at the end there again, you can see the Xbox logo. So is it Game Pass? Is it a bundle? Does it just have to do with the next gen? I'm not too sure. Microsoft as well. So I think some people thought maybe it's coming to PC, but if you guys remember I made a video a couple months ago where uh, we actually saw what consoles it's coming out on and PC was not included. It was like the EA um, like stockholders earning report or whatever. So I don't think it's coming out on PC if you were hoping for that. But um, yeah, I think, you know, pretty cool teaser there. It looks really good. And as I mentioned, this is definitely a new engine. And we actually got confirmation of that on Twitter from our boy Nash61. He tweeted, in case you missed it, Frostbite Engine is confirmed in hashtag NHL22 via the official EA Sports NHL Instagram story. So I believe they posted this to their Insta story. And in the post, it actually included the Frostbite logo. You can see there in the bottom right. So uh, whoever posted it on Instagram forgot to <laughs> take that off, I guess. Uh, so very cool to see that Frostbite's finally making it to NHL. I think the FIFA and Madden games have had Frostbite for the past three or four years. FIFA actually just went to a new engine that's even better than Frostbite. So as much as it is cool and exciting to finally have Frostbite in the NHL, it does also kind of suck to literally be an engine behind FIFA already, as they have like the Unreal Engine, I think it's called, or I forget, it might be like a Hyper Engine, something like that. So cool to see finally we're going to Frostbite, but at the same time, it sucks. NHL always seems to be three or four years behind, you know, the big sport games in FIFA and Madden, but um, definitely had to share that with you guys. And I think that's all the NHL 22 news I have for you guys right now. Again, in a couple days, we'll have the official reveal trailer. Hopefully, uh, we see a lot more footage and actually get, you know, some sort of idea about some of the new features in this game. But until then, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, I'll leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.